The survival of our species has always depended on advances in agriculture. Climate change is going to scramble this how are we going to feed the world debate. This is all about companies. This is about money. This is about power. It's much easier to sell fear than it is science. If you don't have food, then you're going to steal. You're going to kill someone. So how do we make the most informed decisions about how we feed ourselves? most terrifying letters in the English language are GMO. I wondered how many people really know what they are. I don't know. I know it's bad. Genetic engineering is a modern form of breeding. The goal is to add useful traits into food. I am concerned about some of the health issues related to GMOs. More colds, autism, susceptibility to hepatitis, cancer, HIV. There's absolutely no proof to a health hazard. You never trust one opinion. You look at the consensus of experts. I don't think that genetically modified organisms are dangerous. You're either going to be GMO or you're going to be organic. They cannot coexist. If this is an organic planet we're going towards, you would see all the rainforest destroyed just to feed the current population. This is something I'm going to look into. Some people can say wild and crazy things. I trust the social media more than most medical doctors, more than the CDC, more than the FDA, more than the EPA. I don't need a scientific study. Things like that. We humans are wired to make our minds up and that's it. We make decisions based on our gut. When was the last time you changed your mind? Our intentions were honorable. We were trying to protect the future of the planet and the health of our children. It begs the question, how do you know that GMOs are the enemy? What if we got it wrong? The good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. You see, that's the... <laughs>